So my name's Joel Rosen uh, and I've just finished a BSc in government, so that's straight government. The main title was An Average Choice uh -huh. and it's about, um, it's about dispelling the myth that we should be communicating in certain fora, you know, the, the left and right scheme for, um, for how we describe our political preferences. So it was about um, basically deconstructing that idea, showing alternatives that we can now achieve through technology. Um, over the last 10 years, technological systems have developed where we can represent people's political preferences much easier. We can create what we call heuristic bridges, um, which means things that we can process in our minds, but technology can and give us an output. So what drew me towards it was uh, in my first year, I had uh, a sort of passionate um, belief that the left-right classification didn't work. And that, that was a very sort of personal egoistic thing because um, I didn't apply myself. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't fit within either left or right. I still don't uh, because uh, they're constructs. Because if you really have an individual opinion and you resisted the sort of constructivist forces in society, then you will end up with things from all over the place if you, if you uh, agree with them. And people then say, you're inconsistent. And then the question comes, well, how am I inconsistent? What will I, am I inconsistent with? And that led me to write a paper on it. My first essay, actually, in first year, uh, managed to get a, a good mark on that. So I, and I still felt passionate about it. So when the question came up of, do you want to do a dissertation? Or I was really drawn to the, doing the dissertation. And I thought, what would I do it in? And, and the one thing where I looked back that I'd still stayed very, uh, very engaged with and, and very excited about was this topic of left and right and what, what do we do about it? We use it so much, but is it right? And if it's not right for me, surely it's, it's not right for a few other people as well. They feel the same way. And are we being conditioned? Are we being put into boxes? So that's what drove me to, to go and then do this, this crazy dissertation um, in, in, in trying to look at the new ways of, of representing people's political preferences. So my main supervisor was Michael Bruter because he was the perfect fit, he had the expertise, he's also a methodological god, uh, he writes whole books on methodology, but he's the person who was uh, a particular specialist in my area, which was personal political preferences, watching how people vote, he really looks at the behaviour of how people choose how to vote. So some of the things he's been working on is looking how people behave in the ballot box. I've gone to a few uh, conferences with him on, on, on experimental methodology, He's very up on that. My, my second advisor was uh, Simon, uh, Professor Simon Hicks, who was the head of department. He's very appreciative of his time because he doesn't have very much. Professor Simon Hicks uh, knows a lot about left and right as a, as a, as a, a schema, as a schema of, of, of political ideology. And he knew about my work in first year. He was the one who encouraged me in the first place to try and publish it, actually. And I thought I might just keep it for a dissertation instead. And so then it was, it, I would say overall, we had about four or five one-to-one -one meetings. There were seminars, there were five seminars which they set up for us where as GV390, which is called the dissertation course, we could all, have, we all had the opportunity to sit together, listen to PhD students, listen to Michael Bruter telling us about method. Each, 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 uh, each week was a different theme. And this was interspersed throughout the whole two terms throughout the year. I think most of all, how you know how I got my data was literally through the LSE's name actually just by saying I was from the LSE and I was researching something I really wanted to um, to have contributed something to have done something to make me feel like a political scientist and I have to say genuinely afterwards I do I do feel like I've, be, I've gained an expertise in something that I've made a small pinprick in the field to push things forward perhaps um, and with the new technology today, you can actually push things forward quite a bit because people just didn't have those resources 10 years ago. So it's quite an exciting time for political science, we're very young. Um, what I would give as advice for somebody starting out is pick something, in terms of topic selection, um, pick something you're passionate in. You should do a dissertation, definitely, for all those reasons I've said, because you can make a contribution, you feel like a political scientist. I'm going to have a meeting just after this interview, actually, with a startup which wants to use the dissertation as their theoretical basis. So I'm, I'm off to do a, a master's in global governance and diplomacy at Exeter College in Oxford. Um, that's in uh, September, so, sorry, beginning of October I start with that. And the long-term plan is to go into diplomacy, so either the British Foreign Service or the Swiss Foreign Service and the dual national. So whoever will take me first, I guess. Oh.